Hi, I'm Maureen, and I'm a junior. I'm Kaylee, and I'm a junior. I'm Abby, and I'm a junior. <laughs> I'm Emma, and I'm a senior, and we're from Scott. And this is Isn't It Funny? Isn't it funny how every girl has a really good story? When I was in sixth grade, these boys threw a clementine at my friends and me in the Jewish Community Center lounge and said, Hey, cuties. One time, this guy hit on the waitress at Kobe's Steakhouse when he was on a date with me. In the drive-thru, an old man caressed my hand when I gave him his 53 cents in change for his diet cherry limeade. Mmm, mm, that, that's, that's hot. hot. A male friend once blamed Obama for everything his ex did to him. An emo sad boy serenaded me with his favorite death cab for cutie songs, so I'd agree to go on a date with him to Sonic, during which he made me pay for his corn dog. <laughs> Don't worry. Romance, Romance isn't, isn't dead, dead, ladies. A guy in my AP government class told me that I was pretty. For, for a communist. communist. Someone once told me that he thought he liked me for my personality, but it turns out I just smell really good. Isn't, isn't that, that funny? funny? The first time I got catcalled, a man with a Clark Gable mustache told me he wanted me to carry his children. I was wearing pink camouflage pants from Justice. I was 10. One time I was texting a cute guy and when he asked me for pictures, I said no. And he called me irrational. When I joked with my formal date about how he was only interested in me for my food and my body, he said, yeah, but not in that order. Isn't, Isn't that, that funny? funny? I read somewhere that you're statistically less likely to be raped if you're wearing a tampon. So I never leave for a date without one. Isn't, Isn't that, that funny? funny? Isn't it funny how it's normal to bond over whether we were groped in the cafeteria by a boy three years older than us? Or whether our prom dates locked us in the car? When I was 13, a pickup truck rolled up to the sidewalk. Cigarette smoke leaking from the window. And when the man driving told me I was beautiful, I, I took it as a compliment. compliment. At night, we look over our shoulders. Try, try to, to make, make our skirts reach our knees. Carry our keys, keys as brass, brass knuckles. And act like they'll protect us. Act like living like this is is amusing. And when it happens, because it always happens, we say, you know, it wasn't really assault. I just had a panic attack afterwards. I mean, I guess we had fun. We, we know, know how it's better to keep a sense of humor about it. Or else it will destroy you. How, how it's, it's better, better to keep, keep a sense of humor about it. Or else they will change the channel. Why do our stories have to be minimized to keep people's attention? Why should they have to be entertaining in the first place? Because we're not laughing anymore. And it's not funny anymore. Stop calling it a joke. Stop calling us comedians. Say that we are anything but palatable. If, if it will make, make it clear, clear that it's not our job. Not our responsibility. To make it comical. To make it us easy to swallow. Tell us. Can you hear us now? And if so, did you enjoy it?